All right, we are here at Heartland Horseshoe School in the annual certification clinic, preparing for the American Ferry Association certified journeyman exams. Today, we're gonna to do a journeyman run in slow motion, kind of in steps, to show what the examiners will be looking for and how to achieve uh, results that will get you an AFA journeyman certification. So I'm gonna do the near side of this horse, uh, this bay horse, we have already pulled the shoes, and I'm just gonna go through the process of trimming the front foot, talk about what I'm looking for and what I'm thinking about while I do that. And I will side it before I actually get under it. So that tells me whether I need to trim more medial or lateral. If there's any discrepancies, I'll call the examiner over. This is a nice foot. It's been shod, the shoe's been on, there's nothing broken out. We should be able to achieve pretty good results with a foot like this. So there's really nothing to call the examiner for. Most of the time with knife work, less is more. So beyond cleaning, and just kind of trying to find a good, good solid foot under here. I don't get excited about doing a whole lot of knife work. And this foot is deep enough that you're not gonna be able to get a good job done until after you do a nip. Whenever you're doing a certification run, it is in your best interest to leave just a little bit more foot than you would if you were shoeing this horse for everyday work. All right, so you do your nip. I'm gonna have a little ridge of sole that occurs whenever you nip, and I'll just knife it down. Nice and easy, good looking, shiny sole. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the sides of this frog. Just a nice, easy stroke with your knife. If you saw, if you do this, you're gonna end up with little hash marks on that frog. So your knife needs to be sharp enough that you can do nice, straight cuts. This bar's a little weak right here, so it does need a little bit more reduction and definition. All right, now we're ready to rasp. I'm gonna come across the heel, go across my other heel, and then go downward toward my toe using my heels as a guide. Okay, now this is a very important part that I'm about to do here. I'm gonna find a good perimeter that allows me to make a nice shoe for this particular horse. So I'm looking for symmetry, and I'm trying to determine how much I can reduce my hoof wall thickness. So I'll come around, and I'm preparing this foot for a shoe. Be sure that you get through the back of the heel. I also like to use a wire brush to brush this foot up pretty nice. And a lot of this can be done before time even starts. And it's also important that you clean out the commissures really well. There's no sense in letting an examiner find mud in there whenever you could have easily gotten that mud out or thrush or whatever the case might be. Now I didn't bother to sight my foot when I was under him because you're, you will develop an opinion about that foot and when you sight it, you will see what you think you're gonna see. So by coming to the stand first, it gives my eye a little bit of a break. After I'm done dressing it, I will look at it again. That's when I'll hit it with a smooth side of my raft and I'll make my final, my final evaluation. So right now I'm just, I'm dressing the foot to where I found it. This is a finish rasp, just your normal Simmons finish rasp. It'll give you a nice, nice start on a good finish. All right, and then I'll sand the foot up. Small, fast, hard circle. So I'm pushing down pretty hard as I do this. Now presentation is everything, so the nicer this foot looks, the better the examiner is going to feel about the job when he walks up to the horse. At this junction, I will recite my foot and I'll also uh, determine my bar stock length. By coming back to the foot, I can see some of the things I might have missed earlier. First of all, I'm just going to clean up this central sulcus of the frog a little bit. I'm going to pull off a couple of tags that I missed. My overall level. I'm really pretty happy with, so I'm not gonna screw with it too much, but these rasp marks were done with the rough side of the rasp, so they need to be taken down and uh, done with a smooth side. So those little minor details sometimes get lost whenever you're just working on a foot without really thinking about it. Just using the smooth side of a rasp to shine this up, get rid of any, any rasp marks that are on it. Make sure I leave myself a soft edge. I never want to present a foot to the examiner that has a sharp edge on it. 
I want him to pick that up and I want it to be really soft. Not only does it improve his opinion of my foot, but it makes it easier for me to fit. Just clean up this little area. I want my sole to be nice and flat right up to the white line. Have a nice smooth appearance. Okay, now we're ready to make a shoe.